circular pocket. Select the F7 icon. Press the Level Cycle key until you are in Level Cycle 3, Circular Pocket 1. You can see the levels of the cycles by the tabs on the left side of the screen. Define your pocket. XC is the center point of your pocket along the x-axis. In this example, we will be using a value of 1.5. YC is the center point of your pocket along the y-axis. In this example, we will be using a value of minus 2. R is the radius of the pocket. In this example, we will be using a value of 0.75. Define your machining conditions. ZS is the safety distance. This is the amount your tool will be above your starting point before beginning its operation. In this example, we will be using a value of 0.1. Z is the starting point on the z-axis. In this example, we will be using a value of 0. P is the total depth of the pocket. In this example, we will be using a value of 0.5. I is the amount we will be removing depth-wise per pass. In this example, we will be removing 0.25 inches of material per pass, meaning it will take two passes until we get to our final depth. FZ is the penetration feed rate for Z-axis. This value is entered in inches per minute. In this example, we will be using a value of 5 inches per minute. Here you can select to turn the coolant on or off. Define your roughing pass. F is your roughing feed rate along the axis. In this example, we are using a value of 10 inches per minute. S is your spindle speed, and in this example, we are using a value of 1,000 RPM. Select your spindle direction. To toggle between directions, push the half key. In this example, we are using clockwise rotation. T is your tool number. In this example, we are using T2. D is your tool offset number, and in this example, we are using D2. The B beta is your sideways penetration angle. In this example, we will penetrate into the center of our pocket on a 30 degree angle. This button toggles the type of milling, climb or conventional milling. We will be climb milling in this example. The delta is your step over. In this example, we will be using a value of 0.4 inches. Define your finishing pass. F is your finishing feed rate, and we will be using 10 inches per minute. S is your spindle speed. In this example, we are using a value of 1,000 RPM. Select your spindle direction. T is the tool number, and we are using T2. D is your tool offset number, and we are using D2. The B, beta, is your sideways penetration angle. In this example, we will penetrate into the center of our pocket on a 30 degree angle. This button toggles between climb and conventional milling. This is the finishing pass. In this example, we will be using 10 thousandths or 0 0.01 inches for the finishing pass. In is the number of finishing passes and we will be using only one finishing pass. This is the finishing pass in Z. In this example, we will be leaving 
10 thousandths or 0 0.01 inches for the finishing in Z. Next we will simulate the program. And then we will save the part program.